Hi, Bruce from Safari. We're going to do a walkthrough on this uh, pack that we put in the back of the Silverado 2500. And there's three elements to it. There's this case here, and this case here is uh, 1150 uh, long. Uh, it's just under 600 wide. You get change out of that and under 500 high. It's a Pelican case. And then we've got the two swing cases either side. We're going to come back and look at those. In the Pelican case here in the bottom, uh, for 200 amp hour, that's at 12 volt batteries. And there's a square cut in the board here so that you can put your hand in there and turn the batteries on and off and inspect the indicating run lights. So you can just see through there the indicating run lights. And this board that sits on the top here has a strap so it can be lifted out. Now you've got to do some disconnects to lift it out, but the idea is you've got to disconnect uh, some items on the fuse here, and then the board can be swung out from a maintenance point of view or get access to the batteries. 5,000 watt inverter charger here, quite a powerful charger, so that's 70 amps there at uh, 48 volts, so that's three and a half, so that will charge these batteries below here um, very, very quickly. The batteries below are 9,600 watt hours, um, so you can calculate how fast it is. We've got a Scotty in here, which is doing the alternator charging. In this pack, we're coming in with twin 50s from the alternator, and we're using uh, Amphenol connectors at the back that we'll show in a minute. And it's coming into this uh, mega fuse uh, block here. So we've got uh, 12 volts coming in here, and then we've got 12 volts going back out here for the 12 volt distribution because Scotty's bi-directional. So when the vehicle's not running, the power is running back in, the v in, in reverse. So the 12 volt distribution system is live and running all the time, either from the alternator or from Scotty running from the high side 48 to the 12 volt side. This side here is 48 volt. And so we've got coming in here the batteries through the isolator, and then we've got Scotty coming in, and then we've got the inverter coming in. Very short runs, all uh, mega fused in there uh, on how we're running. This is our control switch for Scotty. It's uh, uh, just turning it on and off. We'll turn this on. There's an indicator light on here. And then the smart battery protect here uh, on the 12 volt side uh, protects the uh, 12 volt pin here from going low. The uh, smart shunt here is purely to read the 12 volt uh, values. So we've got both 12 and 48 coming in here. It means that uh, in the uh, cloud, when we're looking at it in the remote management pack, we can see the 12 volt side as well as the 48 volt side. Um, this little uh, Wago block here is for the temperature control of the um, fans and the fans are at the back. Uh, I don't know whether you can hear them running. So we have dual fans in there sucking out and at this end dual fans pushing in. And we've got uh, dual chips in here on, uh, which is a temperature, uh, automatic temperature switch. And it's built into a chip that's capable of up to three amps. So it actually closes within the FET device at, uh, at temperature and that's set at 40 degrees C and turn the fans on and off. Um, the solar controller here is a 150-35, uh, capable of twin 250-watt um, uh, blankets that can come in. And those blankets can come in on the 12-volt or 48-volt side. In this case, we're bringing them in on the 12-volt side because we can't get the high VOC. And that comes in and goes through Scotty here on the 12 to 48-volt charging. But the Cherbo, this is our 4G uh, pack. And then the antenna for the 4G is nicely placed at the end here, so that's fixed. That's 50 mil diameter, 50 mil long, and that's wound for, to, to match the Australian uh, band 28 700. Three bands I've got in there. Now, it's good to look at the feet at the bottom here. So these are anchored in, they're adjustable. There's a little bit of rubber underneath here, and that's to stop the case from uh, moving around. So that's the <coughs> case. When the lid closes, it seals on the rubber here, and it's uh, lockable here. So you can actually uh, seal and lock it. <clears throat> now let's look at the uh, 12 volt side here. So this swing case, which is sitting on the uh, uh, driver's side, uh, we've got the solar breaker in here, and, uh, and then we've got some uh, fused outlets here with these Wago fuses here for uh, plugging into the uh, USBs that we've got here. And uh, this is an Anderson plug for the fridge. The solar input here, we've got doubles here, 
and uh, by using this uh, uh, pinned joiner here, if that's in a single blanket here will run through, a double blanket this comes out, it goes in and then it's running in series and by running it in series then we're running at a higher VOC and that's why we've got the 150 because the blankets we sell are 72 VOC per blanket. Uh, and then the other cables are just inside here. So um, it is possible to put a uh, compressor in here, a little bit of juggling around here to get the compressor in, but uh, we have installed these with the, uh, with the ARB uh, dual uh, compressor. Uh, this is fully glanded at the back. So if we just have a look at the back here, very nicely glanded, uh, all, all finished. Uh, this drops down. There is a uh, there's a tray that goes in the top here, so that tray can go on there. And then this uh, nicely drops down. It's lockable, and then that's your 12 volt pack. Now on the uh, and then we've got the screen here on the uh, passenger side, and we've got a 15 amp inlet, a double double pole 10 amp IP65 outlet, and we're adding in down here a 15 amp outlet for uh, the towed caravan. Now if we open this up inside here, we've got the RCBOs down the bottom here. We're adding one more in here. And then this screen here is the HDMI. So the only thing in here is the 240 and the sealed HDMI cable. It doesn't unplug, it's fixed in there. So there's no, um, there's no impact on the 240 volt cabling. All the glanding is at the back here that you can see, very nicely glanded. And uh, swing case, and this is also comes down and can be uh, lockable. So there's, uh, there's no access in here. Now let's have a look at the back of the case. And you can see here the two Amphenol connectors. That's for the alternator coming in. There's our landing at the back here for the 240, very professionally done. Um, and uh, coming in here. And uh, this is our HDMI uh, gland in the black. There's the two inlet fans, there's the two outlet fans, there's the black amphenol connector up there and the 12 volt outlet. Uh, these batteries here are just wired up for the testing of Scotty that we had here in the back. So that wraps up the uh, case. It's also available in a black half size, 3000 watt, two batteries, uh, which is suitable for a, uh, a Jeep or any four wheel drive that uh, wants uh, less power, cuts down to half the size. Uh, we've got a, a great video on that. Uh, we can use the swing cases with it, or we can actually have the screens uh, coming out of the case, lifting out of the case. Um, how good's that?